Start your own guild, they said. It'll be fun, they said. My part. Seven is... empowered enemies, and I have no uh, cooldown. I don't HP need ten raid leaders. Four more I don't know if we can actually do this with him. Four. We might have to replace. Oh fuck. Cataclysm beta. No, I'm not gonna play that. I mean, everyone told me Cataclysm sucked. I'm just gonna level a fifth all in Season of Discovery and run laps around the Nightmare Incursion again until I hate myself. <laughs> Don't I mean, I guess I could try it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna have done that. Chat, did I make the right choice in not really playing Kata? Was it, was it the proper decision for me to not really fuck with Kata? Yes, yes, yes. Because instead of Kata, what have we been doing? Fresh Invictus Supremus. Well, let me ask you, like, from, from a viewer point of view, what's better content? Fresh Invictus Supremus or doing CADA 10-man heroic raids every day for the last fucking three weeks? Fresh Invictus Supremus. That's fucking right. That's right. Trip burns through the cavernous... Nope, skip that. I don't want to watch that. Let's just play the game. Oh, wow. You can okay, cast Scorch while moving? All right. Oh, Goblin gets Rocket Jump. Dang, that's like having two blinks. Okay. Wait, I could spread my combustion to everything? This is insane. Oh my god, oh, wow. look at the damage. You look can reforge your gear to have the stats you actually want. Why did every- Wait, what the fuck? This is an add-on that just tells you exactly what you should do with reforging? What the fuck? What? I didn't play Kata. Jesus. Why did everyone tell me this game sucked? Hey guys. Okay. I'm starting a Kata guild if anyone wants to join. Okay. I couldn't believe it, but people started joining the guild. And they were hyped about Kata. Yo, Kata hype? Kata hype? And before I knew it, we had almost a hundred oh, wow. guild members. We created a dis. A hundred? Almost a hundred guild members? I've got a hundred online every night. I've got a hundred online! Okay? A hundred guild. We got a hundred online, fresh Invictus Supremus! Discord, and it was extremely active. People were making new friends. Everyone was gearing up and looking forward to the raids. But I hadn't really established what kind of raiding guild we were going to be. Okay. In Season of Discovery, I was in a pug guild called Swamp, where people would sign up for raids in the Discord, and then you would just go and clear the raid. I'm in that I guild. wanted to take the same concept over to Cataclysm and have an open invite guild where people would try to clear the raids with whoever signed up. This was a problem. When it came time to raid, we had about 15 people who did all the pre bis all the rep farming, and mm. they came to raid with all the enchants, and they were ready to go. Mm. We had about 15 other casual players who just kind of wanted to be in the raid, but just showed up in whatever. Naturally, so I thought the best thing to do would be to try to do a 25-man raid, since we had a lot of sweats. This was a terrible idea. Oh. Short stay died, Z-Trip died. Wipe it up, we're going normal. Cataclysm Damn. raids turned out to be insanely hard, especially week one. I didn't realize that Cataclysm heroics were harder than Wrath of the Lich Kings. Some Cataclysm raid bosses are almost like a mythic. Oh, he means Cataclysm heroic raids are harder than Wrath heroic raids. Uh, yeah, 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 probably. I don't like know. Retail level of difficulty. Yeah. This is something that kind of caught me off guard. I quickly realized that my guild was not going to be able to kill any heroic bosses with the 25 players that we had. Jesus. So at this point, I decided it would be best to split into two 10-man groups. One for heroic and one for normal. The problem with this was that some players got left out of the 10-man heroic group, yep. and they were not happy about it. This Damn. is one of the first lessons I learned about being a GM. No matter what decision you make, some people are not going to be happy about it. But there's yep. very rarely a solution. The solution is killing them. Anytime some listen, if you want to be a good leader, anyone that disagrees with you, you kill them. That everyone's going to like. We started That's raiding right. every day with the 10 man prog team. And I told the guild we would go back to 25 man once we got geared up from the 10 man and we could carry a bit. This was another problem. I overestimated 
our 10 man group as well. Normal. Oh man. Why why are we talking about normal? Just gra grab it grab a third DPS. Let's actually kill the boss and let's keep going. We would raid every day for almost yeah, three to six hours, pulling some bosses over 40 times. Oh, dude, I'm so happy I didn't play Kata. Oh my god. Dude, three to six hours of Kata prog per day. Dude, I, dude, I did, I did, uh, I did dead mines the other day, and uh, I one shot every boss. It was fucking, it was awesome. It was fucking awesome. And our ten man still couldn't clear more than six bosses on heroic. The second oh, we came around, and we ended up wiping just as much on the reclears as we did on the prog. Jerome was trying his hardest to keep the vibes good, but even he was struggling. I hate this game so much. This is not a good game. I do not enjoy playing it. I will not like it, and I do not like it. I will say, though, every time we did kill a boss and Jerome got loot, Good. the vibes would go back up a bit. Bro, that just brought the vibes back to 100. I'm back in Canada, dude. I was about to uninstall, but I'm back. I felt incredible. Dude, I, dude, getting loot is good vibes. You give me some loot, it's going to be good vibes. Incredible. I love Canada now. However, yep. we raided yep. almost every day for three weeks, and we were still 6 out of 13 heroic. This is where Cataclysm slowly started destroying our guild. Stop being negative during the pool when we're still in the pool. Like, I'm calling be positive. It so we can get healing help. Yeah, That's but you're, you're, you're saying dumb sh dude. You're saying like, oh, it's you're over. You're saying dumb sh bitch. Suck my This is where I learned another <laughs> valuable lesson. Number two. Have oh, officers. When you make funny, a guild, dude. I highly recommend that you have at least two to three officers who can help you do just about everything. At the bare minimum, you need a raid leader, a recruitment officer, and maybe an officer for each of the class roles, like tank, healers, and DPS. This will help to make sure everyone is fully prepared for the raids. I didn't do any of this. I just gave officer to a few people I have played with for the longest and threw up a raid sign-up sheet. So what else did I mess up in this guild? Oh, number three. The application process. So once you've established what your guild will be, you need to recruit players that are at your skill level or you won't be successful. There's a better... That's the problem. No, you need to recruit players that are better than you so that they can carry you. You're looking to get care. You don't want to have people that are as good as you because you haven't cleared all the content. You want to get people that are better than you so they can carry you. Real quick, I want to check Warcraft logs. WCL Classic. Are, are people at this point, we are like three or four weeks into Classic, uh, Kata. Are people, who's that? Winky! Thank you very much, Winky. Thank you very much. Hope you had a good stream last night. Are people... Yeah, here we are. Hold up. Uh, is it rankings? No. Uh, progress? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold up. I, I want to see... Okay, on Heroic. Oh. Dude, not that many people. Dude. Uh, okay, so so only like maybe one fifth or almost one fourth of people that kill one heroic boss end up killing all the heroic bosses. So far, there's like between a one fifth and one fourth success rate with full clearing. After what three or four weeks, Pro probably four weeks. Damn. Okay, so this content is a little bit hard then. All right. With the comms guys or without. We just need more damage. More damage solves everything. This is why top 300 retail guilds ask for a screenshot of your UI, your rating history, your single target opener, what class and spec you play, if you have any alts, yep. if you have a Discord. Credit score, penis length, uh, what else? Uh, racial or ethnic profile, what gender are you, what's your nationality? There, it's, a, it's a whole thing with retail guilds. Yep. Board and microphone, how many hours a week you play, you? how many cutting edge achievements you have, a video link to your gameplay, a link to your wow logs, your armory, your raider UI, and after all that, you have to pass a personality test in your Discord interview. In most cases, applying for a wow guild is harder than applying for a job IRL. This application process is obviously something I didn't do. Yep. We were an open invite guild with hardcore raid guild expectations. Impossible. It was at this point yeah. that I realized I had failed as a guild leader because I didn't set proper goals by establishing that we wanted to be a heroic 25-man raid guild to begin with. 
didn't delegate enough responsibilities by having officers who would handle recruitment and raid preparations. We didn't yeah. gatekeep anyone out of the guild by looking at their logs and previous raid experience. So at this point, Damn. I was going to have to remake the guild from the ground up. But I had made a lot of friends in this Ooh. guild. I didn't want to tell any of them that they wouldn't be able to continue raiding with me. So I decided it would be best if I just disbanded the guild and went to look for a new one. It's over. Oh. Oh, fuck. We are screwed. But just when I was about to disband the guild, we got an opportunity for a guild merger. And What's not that? just any guild merger. A three-way guild merger. Oh we decided God. we were going to take the best place. Dude, guild mergers. Dude I, dude, I feel like guild mergers are always a bad idea. Do you guys agree? Every time I've ever seen a guild merger, that shit, it, it's drama. It's a bad fucking idea. Here's from three different raids and make a 25-man heroic raid team. Oh, with shit. With all raids on Mondays. This would allow me to still raid with some of my friends and avoid the responsibility of telling some of them that I wouldn't be able to raid with them anymore. So a lot of it is class, some of it's skill, and some of it is just people messing up pools, you know? And after all, what do the best bosses in the world do when they don't want to do something? They make someone else do it. So what did I learn from this guild making experience? Make sure you have these three things. Number one, you are very clear about your intentions for the guild and what is expected of your raiders mm -hmm. before people join the guild. Okay. Number two, a solid group of officers who you delegate all responsibilities to. That's right. Number three, a rigorous application process where you gatekeep mm. the ever living sh out of people. That's true. If you're a raiding guild, of course. I mean, any, anyone can do normal raid. You don't really have to gatekeep them. And number four, no more as a allowed. bonus, have an extremely handsome raid leader. There you go. Looking back, at least we did one of those things right. So if you're planning on starting a guild in Kata, I wish you luck. As for me, we'll see how my new adventure goes in the three-way guild without all the responsibilities of being a GM. If you enjoyed this content about me ranting about my guild experience in World of Warcraft, hit the subscribe button and check me out on twitch.tv slash Ardako. There you go. This video, my takeaway is that I am happy I'm not playing Kata. That is, that is my big uh, message from this. I think I made the right decision. That was a smart move to not really fuck with Kata that much. I played for two weeks. I did my heroic dungeons and then I pieced the fuck out.